Have you ever leaped through time to experience history firsthand? Perhaps it was the first time you watched the TV series Quantum Leap that introduced you to the concept of time travel. Created by Donald P. Belisario, this iconic show first hit the screens in 1989, sparking the imaginations of viewers and leaving them with intriguing questions about the past and the future. Did you tune in every week to follow the adventures of Dr. Sam Beckett as he quantum leaped into various people's lives, striving to put right what once went wrong? Or maybe you have a personal story about how this series has inspired or impacted your life. Whether it's the scientific curiosity, the engaging narratives, or the charm of the characters, Quantum Leap has left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts and take us on a leap through time with you. Quantum Leap, a groundbreaking TV series that aired from 1989 to 1993, follows Dr. Sam Beckett, a physicist played by Scott Bakula, as he becomes a time-traveling adventurer. Using the Quantum Leap Accelerator, Sam finds himself leaping into the bodies of people throughout history, righting wrongs, and changing lives. Accompanied by his holographic friend, Al Calavici, Sam's mission is to put right what once went wrong, and ultimately find his way back home. The show's unique blend of science fiction, historical drama, and moral lessons made it a beloved classic. Quantum Leap resonated with audiences through its exploration of critical social and personal issues. It left an indelible mark on popular culture and remains a cult favorite, leaving viewers with timeless questions about destiny and human connection. Its innovative format and compelling characters have made Quantum Leap a lasting symbol of 1980s and 1990s television, touching hearts and minds one leap at a time. Quantum Leap, the 1989 TV series, is remembered for many aspects, but one notable change occurred early in the show's run. In the initial episodes, Al exited the imaging chamber through a regular door with a turning knob. However, by the middle of the first season, this effect was transformed into the iconic rising door with a blue light shining beyond it. This alteration in the show's visual style was just one of the many interesting aspects of Quantum Leap. The series starred Scott Bakula as Dr. Sam Beckett, a physicist who invents a time travel experiment, which causes him to leap into the bodies of people at various points in history. Alongside him, Dean Stockwell portrayed Al Calavici, a holographic companion who guides Sam on his time-traveling adventures. Another fascinating fact is that Scott Bakula and Dean Stockwell reunited in other TV series like Star Trek, Enterprise, and NCIS, New Orleans. This reunion delighted fans of both Quantum Leap and the later shows. Lastly, it's worth noting that Sam Beckett, the character played by Scott Bakula, and the series creator, Donald P. Belisario, share the same birthday, August 8th. This is a curious and perhaps serendipitous connection between the character and the mind behind the show. Quantum Leap, with its unique premise and memorable characters, continues to be a beloved part of television history. In the 1989 TV series Quantum Leap, one fascinating aspect of the show is the way they filmed mirror scenes. When Sam Beckett appears to be looking at someone else's reflection in a mirror, these scenes were shot on a dual set. On one side of the clear glass mirror, you had Scott Bakula, who played Sam Beckett, while on the other side, the actor or actress he interacted with was standing. This clever filming technique allowed for seamless mirror interactions throughout the series, adding a unique visual element to the show. The use of the dual set with a clear glass mirror created the illusion of Sam Beckett and the other characters sharing the same space while looking into the mirror. This practical approach was a significant part of the show's production, and it helped to maintain the continuity and realism of the mirror scenes, a recurring feature in Quantum Leap. The attention to detail in creating these mirror scenes was just one of the many elements that contributed to the success and appeal of Quantum Leap. The show, with its time-traveling premise and unique storytelling, captured the imagination of its viewers and remains a beloved classic in the world of television. So, next time you watch Quantum Leap, pay close attention to those mirror scenes and remember the clever dual set technique that made them possible. It's a small but fascinating behind the scenes aspect of the show that adds to its charm. The TV series Quantum Leap, which aired in 1989, had a unique touch thanks to Al's cigar. 
Dean Stockwell, who portrayed Al, came up with the idea, considering it a clever way to score free cigars for the show's entire five-year run. This quirky detail added a distinctive element to the series, becoming a memorable part of the character's persona. Despite being unconventional, it was a defining feature of the show, and contributed to its charm. Quantum Leap also shared a connection with another TV series, ABC's China Beach. Both shows featured a main character named Samuel Beckett. The name Samuel Beckett is typically associated with the renowned Irish playwright and novelist, who is considered one of the most significant writers of the 20th century. The choice of this name in both series could be seen as a subtle nod to the literary world, adding an intriguing layer of depth to the shows. Deborah Pratt, the series narrator and voice of Ziggy, played a significant role behind the scenes as well. She not only wrote for the series, but also served as an executive producer. During the show's run, she was married to Donald P. Belisario, further tying her to the production. This combination of roles and relationships contributed to the series' success, ensuring a consistent vision and direction. In summary, Quantum Leap was more than just a time-traveling adventure. It had unique elements like Al's cigar, shared character names, and key contributions from Deborah Pratt, making it a standout series in the late 1980s. Quantum Leap, the 1989 TV series, holds a unique distinction. Project Quantum Leap, a time travel experiment, is predominantly managed by women. While not explicitly mentioned in the series, except for the character Gushi, a majority of the key personnel running the project are women. These include Dr. Donna Elise, Sam's wife, and a physicist, Dr. Beeks, a medical technician, Tina Martinez, Al's girlfriend, and assistant programmer, an unnamed military envoy, and Dr. Sammy Joe Fuller, Sam's daughter sired during a leap, who is also a physicist. Even Ziggy, the sentient computer controlling the project, exhibits female characteristics. This hidden female presence adds an intriguing layer to the show's narrative. Donald P. Belisario, the creator, considered Quantum Leap his favorite among all his television series. Its compelling premise and storytelling likely contributed to this distinction. One memorable aspect of the series is the ad-libbed line, Oh boy, I Scott Bakula at the beginning of the first episode. The producer liked it so much that it became the signature final line of each episode, as Sam finds himself in a new body, leaving a lasting mark on the show. These lesser-known facts offer a fresh perspective on the beloved series, Quantum Leap, and its behind-the-scenes details that enriched its storytelling and appeal. As we approach the end of our journey through the annals of time and space, it's impossible not to reflect on the timeless wonder of the 1989 TV series, Quantum Leap. Each leap into the unknown, each quantum jump, was a voyage into the human experience, exploring the depths of emotion and the tapestry of our existence. Quantum Leap's narrative prowess and its ability to blend science fiction with profound human drama were truly groundbreaking. Dr. Sam Beckett's quest to put right what once went wrong and his ever-present holographic companion Al Calavici invited us to consider the ripples we create in the lives of others. It's a reminder that our choices, our actions, and our connections with one another have the power to change the course of history. Now, we turn the mirror towards you. What are your personal connections to Quantum Leap? Did the show inspire you to think differently about the past, present, and future? Were there episodes or moments that left an indelible mark on your heart and mind? We invite you to share your favorite memories and thoughts about this beloved series. Let's create a leap into the past together and remember the beauty of Quantum Leap in all its glory. Your memories, your reflections, they are the leaping points of this conversation. Share your thoughts and be a part of this journey through time. We look forward to hearing your stories. Thank you for your time and interest in our shared adventure. And remember, this outro was...